Hey everyone, Baron here, bringing you a game of War Thunder. I have to say that this game has me hooked. I'm a huge fan of it. Saw some YouTube videos on it recently, and I have picked it up as it is in open beta and it is free. So there really is no reason not to give it a try. And uh, you'll probably get hooked if you're anything like me. I uh, have not uploaded a video in a good five days because, as you can see in the right, I'm a level six, so I've, I've played a decent amount in this game. And uh, so I am here on my uh, reserve planes with the Russians trying to build some experience. I have a lot of fun playing with the reserve planes simply because, as they are biplanes, they're very maneuverable. So I feel like they are the easiest to get a get the hang of and get a feel for and that's what you start with rightfully so so we are on a ground strike where we basically have to kill the ground targets and if we kill all of their ground targets we win and if uh, they kill all of ours they win or alternatively if any of either of our team's aircraft are destroyed totally. Everyone's out of aircraft, the game will end. And, uh, let's see here. So all the red are the enemy aircraft, and as you can see, you're able to see their name, the distance they are away from you, and what type of plane. So it's kind of, right now it looks like information overload, but you will get a feel for it for sure. And then once you become more familiar with the game, you will you'll get an idea of what planes are what. So I trying to hit this pea shooter. Took a wide turn there, trying to get him. There's a lot going on in this battle. And uh, my ally and I clipped into each other. Should have been aware of that. He'll probably spam in the chat I took a lot of damage and uh, yeah we basically killed each other right there so what a better way to, to start off this video than to crash into a friendly and lose my level one play <laughs> yeah so let's try to redeem myself now that I have three of my reserve aircraft. And a Nimrod is a British aircraft. And he is going down. So we're going to have to pick a new target. And you'll notice that little hex on the bottom there. I have uh, strapped bombs to this plane as you can see there. So I'm able to attack ground targets as well as aerial targets. Here's an I-15. That is my plane. Shooting at a friendly. Oh, he's shooting at me. Had to pull up so we wouldn't crash. Try to get back around on him. He's probably doing the same, so we will see. No, he is not. He's either not very maneuverable or he decided to peel off and go for another target. Assuming I wouldn't be coming back for him. Although he does have two bogeys on his backside, and uh, he's down. So not much to show for myself, and uh, what I would say is decent amount of experience in this game so far. But as you can tell just from watching, this is a gorgeous game. Everything is very well detailed. Come on. There we go. There's a kill. There's a buffalo trying to make a loop. Here's, I may be getting shot at, so what we're going to do is dive below this cliff. Dodge this rice paddy. Not sure where the other guy is. I hear some fire behind me, but I am not seeing any tracers going by me. Gotta pull up. If you don't pull up early enough, you will have an experience. There we are. There's some tracers where you'll basically... More than likely, you'll run into each other, and there's nothing more frustrating than that. I've actually killed a few people. Alright, hear that little ding? Look on the right side of the screen. 
I did some critical damage to his fuselage. And if you look at uh, my screen on the left, you'll see my the middle part of my aircraft is flashing red. So that is not the worst thing that could happen, but it is close. So trying to skim some roofs, rice paddy roofs. Hoping that guy peeled off me. There's another guy coming in. Had a bank, and he's back. So I am pretty well damaged right here. I'm going to try to drop my bombs on my cars. I'm realizing that my days are numbered. Yeah. So I was able to take out some ground targets there. Realizing I had the bombs and figured I'd try to do something with them. So I am down to my last two planes. Now mind you, when you first start playing this game, you will only have three available, but with a decent amount of experience, you'll be able to use your silver lions, which are your currency gained from uh, playing the game, as opposed to the golden eagles. I'll show you a little bit more about that later, where you have to buy those. I need to pull up so I wouldn't run into my friend. Here's a guy chasing one of my other allies. Make sure to help your allies out. You also, it could be rewarding. Uh, not the best. Alright. He's dropping throttle and turning, so I drop throttle as well to try to catch him. Now it looks like he's accelerating. He that was a pretty good maneuver. I think I lost him. Don't believe this is the target I was going after, but I will try to get this pea shooter, which is the American Reserve aircraft. Can't hit him. My guns are set to half a click or kilometer targeting and that was at six so it's gonna be harder to shoot. There we go. Critical hit. And if you look in the bottom right, I shot down that P26. Aptly named the uh, P shooter. So I like the Russian reserve aircraft because they have the uh, highest fire rate and as a result they have the most damage per second in this game measured in kilograms a second for how much lead you're able to put in the air. Now let's see. There's a Nimrod. He's got multiple people coming in on him. I'll pull off. Go for another target. Hide behind this cliff. Maybe target that KI-10. Ooh, that worked out nicely. Now, this game is pretty easy to uh, get a feel for. Most of my flying, oh, that was, is uh, just with the mouse, because I'm using mouse and keyboard. I do not have a joystick. Good maneuver there. Let's see if he doesn't crash. All right. Woo! Now he dropped throttle and pulled off, so I'm going to drop throttle, wing out again, and then try to come back. And he is below me, doing some pretty good maneuvering. Yeah, so needless to say, this game is pretty easy to pick up. Got a nice hit on him. Um, I'm not the I'm not a dogfighter type by any means. I am more of the uh, poacher. Here we go. I'll go after this HE-51 if I can. Wow. There we go. There's a critical hit. And if you look in the top left right now. Um. I'm actually reloading my machine guns. 
I'm unable to fire currently. So I kind of have to wait it out. And each plane has different statistics on how much ammunition capacity they have. So this guy is down. He landed, it looks like. And uh, finished him off there. So it looks like our team is winning, but it is not yet over. And if you look in the bottom left currently, you'll see 45 and 50. That's how many vehicles we each have left respectively. Ooh, tricky little jinx. got this pea shooter on me so I'm gonna assume he is not aware of me and I'll pull off because I do not want to run into him like I did that guy in the first uh, people get really mad at rammers in this game and my thought about that is if you don't want to get rammed do not play arcade mode where that's actually a legitimate tactic, given you have more than one life. Ooh. I'll pull off. That guy has two on his six, or I'll just go up against this 153. Oh, not even a hit. That's a shame. That is shameful. There's a hit. Alright, damaged his elevator. He should be going down then. Yeah. There we go. Finished him off. Now the 153 I'm familiar with because I'm Russian. And that was my first aircraft to start with. So I know he's a level 1, a little better than average. So I kind of specifically targeted him there. And that just kind of goes to show that when you're playing the game, you should try to become familiar with certain, you know, with your vehicles and kind of have a general idea of theirs. I have two bombs on this as well. I'm going to go in for some ground targets. And you get a lot more points for aerial kills than ground kills. This guy's targeting. Double strike. Kind of dropped it in the middle there. I'm getting shot at by the ground targets right now. I'm going to go in for this AAA. Now, it is possible for me to get killed by this guy. And it is possible for me to shoot down. And not necessarily shoot down. Although, if you look in the uh, bottom right, it does say that I shoot down AAA batteries. But it is possible to destroy them with machine guns as I did right there and I have been shot down by AAA batteries before um, twice and it is kind of just a buzz kill when you get shot down by the AAA all right there is an armored car he's being targeted I will swoop back there's not too many aerial targets it looks like there's just one right now so I'm assuming the round is going to end so my intention is just to hit some ground targets. There's an artillery piece now. Now I do not think that targets planes very well, although I have seen people get destroyed by it. Kind of cut throttle right there. Now we'll go after this I-15. There are some other ground targets over that mountain. And he's down. So if he has another life, he'll be spawning. And if not, the round will be over. Either way, I'm going to head back towards the enemy airfield, which... Yep, he did spawn. So I am first in line to try to get this I-15, which is the same type of plane as I am. Russian reserve aircraft. I have a lot of fun playing with reserve aircraft. They're maneuverable. It's easy to keep. It's easy to fly them. They are slow. They're not very good at climbing. 
on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, suffers oil tank. It's not a very good critical hit. And he is maneuvering right now, so he'll likely... I got an assist. Yep, he'll likely get shot down. Alright, I did that little burst to get a feel of how much ammunition I had left. Alright. We'll go after these air targets. Drop some throttle. Come on. Oh, I didn't get credit for that. Anyway, now we'll go to the score screen and get a feel for how I did. Now this video is uh, essentially an announcement that I'm going to be putting up a fair amount of content on this game, War Thunder, in the uh, because I'm I'm hooked on it. I have such a fun time playing this game. It's gorgeous. It's very easy to play. The controls are intuitive. I'm a big World War II buff, and everything is done to detail. So you can see there, I got three arrow kills, eight ground kills. Um, I should have done better, given I did go back to reserves, but uh, I was trying to give decent commentary through that. I was a little distracted. I'm leveling up my, my Russians here. My favorite country is Germany. And uh, let's take a look at the tech tree right now. So here are the Russians. You have a lot of aircraft. And as you level up, you'll open up newer planes. And over here on the right, you'll see that these are golden eagles. This is the two currencies that I was alluding to earlier in this video. And golden eagles have to be purchased. So you'll see that 500 golden eagles is $3. So effectively, this PBY 5A Catalina is about anywhere between 2 and $3. And this guy here, he's 1500 so he is probably like eight or ten bucks to get that guy and these are gifts you have to be gifted them by a friend so I think that's kinda to promote playing with friends and squad mates you'll see some videos of me playing with squad mates I've done a fair amount of it this past weekend so anyway you get an idea of the tech tree, things are opened up, you start with your biplanes, the reserve aircraft, you slowly work your way into very historical and well-known vehicles. You get the Sturmvik here, and my pronunciation is probably a little poor. This is the flying tank, one of the most famous Russian planes from World War II. And then near the end you get to jet aircraft. Here is the MiG-15, MiG-9, and another variant of the MiG-9. And yes, you do can open up the ME-262 with the Germans. So there is a lot to, a lot of planes to try out, get your feel for it. And you'll, you won't have to play, if you're reserves and you enjoy the lower level planes, you're not going to be paired up with jet aircraft and other aircraft that will literally just destroy you. You're able to be paired up within your similar ranks. So I've noticed if your planes are limited to 0 and 1 you will stay within reserve aircraft and level 1 aircraft. And then anything after like 1 and 2 you'll be put up between 0 and 4 and then it goes onwards and upwards. And so here you can see the different game modes that they currently have. Arcade, which I was just playing, which you'll have any amount of lives that you have. Um, any planes you open up. And you'll notice with all of mine, I opened up the fourth slot because it only cost 10,000 silver lines, which is relatively easy to come by after a game or two. I'm not really, I don't remember specifically because it was a few days ago, if you already have enough silver lines to do that but so and you can even get a fifth slot for silver lines however after that you will have to pay the uh, pay with actual dollars in order to open up a six plane slot 
and I don't believe seven is possible at this time. And uh, you may say, well, why am I going to be buying this? This game's an open beta, like you said. What if they wipe everything? Well, they're not planning to wipe accounts, and even if they do, all of your Golden Eagles will be returned to you. And this game just gets really detailed. So you can update your you know upgrade your crew I get experience I got some experience from uh, playing with them recently so I can put the points in these different factors key you know and uh, if the plane has gunners you can upgrade your gunners ground service effects like if you're damaged and you land on a friendly airfield you can get repaired and rearmed and this is very important for some of the other more realistic game modes other than arcade. And there's even ways to use real currency, the Golden Eagles, to accelerate your crew training. And within each aircraft, you can, uh, you can buy different weapon sets. And then the more you play with an aircraft, as you see here, I only have... 1500 experience out of 440,000 and as you get more experience with a specific aircraft you can upgrade it installing new engines making it more air resistant and here uh, engine performance being improved and it's different for every aircraft so some of them don't have much others have a lot of different options generally bombers will So you can kind of get a feel that each plane is different, your crew will be upgraded, and it's not like the crew for this individual ship. I can actually exchange aircraft, and I'll have the same pilot with the same stats. So let's get back to that plane that I'm a huge fan of. This guy. Yeah, so you'll see that he is the same pilot actually. So that's kind of cool, although they don't carry over to the other nation nationalities so keep that in mind so yeah it's infinitely detailed and you can even change the paint job on the aircraft and you'll open up certain aircraft the uh, the more you do you can add decals and all kinds of things on it infinitely customizable and especially when you account for how many aircraft there are. So that was, I've, I've played arcade, you saw that. Historical battle, you only get one life. As it is in the open beta, it's limited to these two nationalities right now. You have one life, you spawn on the airfield, and you have to take off. It requires a little more skill, obviously, than arcade battle. And um, it's more realistic. In full real battles, there's no HUD. Like where, when I was playing arcade, you could see the name, the type of aircraft, and how far they were away from you. In full real battles, you only see them as black dots. It is the uh, realistic, you know, dogfighter enthusiast game mode. You have to be very good. You're going to want a joystick for these two game modes. But for arcade, you can get away with a mouse and keyboard, and that is what I have been using. So yeah, that is just a brief introduction to War Thunder. And you know, if aircraft is not your thing, well, I'll tell you what, it is not available now, but in the future they are going to release ground units and naval units. And in some of the game modes, and I'm sure you'll see it in an upcoming video, you can engage AI-controlled naval units right now, depending on the map that it is. So... Anyway, I am Baron. Thank you for watching this game. Expect a lot more videos on this in the future. Please make sure to give the video a like and to subscribe. And just get ready for some more One War Thunder. And check out some of my other videos. Appreciate you guys watching. And I'll see you all later.